Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you. I appreciate you. For the, um, the rest of the month of November, you guys can get a reading for $25. Okay. Um, here doing a video for Leo. This is for the 16th to the 30th of November. Guys, this is a general reading. So if you want something personal, take advantage of the special that's going on, okay? It is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, all right? So, Leo, you're all, you're, you guys' overall energy is like beautiful okay you guys you got the in flow in the flow card when i am in the flow magic happens you guys are definitely of way aware of your surroundings and who you are dealing with your third eye is all is very open very wide open at this time you see things very clearly okay very clearly isn't that a beautiful card yes it is you also got the Pathway Awareness card. A lot of colors. Y'all got bright colors, which is always like, uh, you guys are so happy right now. You're very nurturing. You're nurturing yourself, okay? So Pathway, Path Awareness. This is, if I sincerely ask, I am always guided back to the right path for me and to my central purpose. So you're totally aware of everything around you. Your eyes are wide open, wide open. You see so much clearly now. You've gotten clarity with the Ace of Swords being here. Universe have given you the clarity that you needed. You have gotten a victory in a situation, Leo. You also have Simply Love and nurture. This is the empress, okay? This is somebody in your past. Could be thinking about you or you're thinking about them. But you're totally aware. You've gotten your clarity as far as your past people's, all your past, period. You're starting something new and creative. You know who you are. You know your worth. You're, very, you're taking care of yourself. You're loving on yourself, okay? You're very abundant at this time very abundant and very aware of everything that's going on you you don't have nothing over your eyes period okay so you also have the expectation card here and courtship who had this courtship card capricorn Capricorn had this courtship card in the same spot and the expectation. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? And if you want to, take a look at the Capricorn's video, you know, if you want to. They also had the privileged lady. So, anywho. So what I get from the expectation card and the courtship, some of you guys had high expectation in a situation, okay? And guess what? You were enlightened about that situation. You knew that there was something toxic about it. It was a situation, I believe, that you gave somebody a second chance in. You were very connected to this person. You felt very connected to this person. You gave this person a second chance, and you had to end it with the, seven, the Ten of Swords. You knew this person was very toxic they were deceitful they did shit behind your back so on and so forth so you ended it some of you guys now are are you, you're healing you're getting over heartbreak okay but you're in a situation some of you guys are courting somebody and you're not really trusting it right now this could be a very abundant um situation with the ten of pentacles here this is financial security. This situation could be very abundant, but 
some of you guys, like I said, you are being enlightened, okay? But I, I get the feeling that some of you guys have jumped into something and have not totally healed, but you are healing, okay? So, it's a possibility. You're courting somebody. You're not really sure of the situation because some of you guys are still thinking about the things that you went through. But be understand that you are getting over it. You are letting things go, you guys could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Remember I just said some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yes. Look at Capricorn's video for sure. Okay. Now I'm for sure you should look at it. Um, yeah, you're um you're not happy right now. And I'm like I said, I'm thinking that some of you guys need to continue to heal. But this situation that you guys are in right now, some of you, this is not for everybody. You are in a situation, but you're not trusting it. And it could be very abundant for you. So just keep that in mind, okay? Just keep that in mind. Okay, let's move on to see what Tarot has for you guys, okay? Um, yeah. You guys are, are definitely looking good. You guys are looking good. You are healing enough. You, you, you're, oh, your eyes are open. You're not letting nothing get past you anymore. You're not going to let nobody play you anymore. Bottom line. Not saying that, you know, you guys were totally played. But you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You're going you're gonna to look at all the red flags. Okay. Okay. So, what universe, what do we have for Leo? What else we have for Leo for the rest of november 2020 we got the ace of swords of get oh no this is the ace of wands yeah some of you guys are starting something very passionate universe is offering you something very creative and something very passionate and you all guys are starting you know something new and creative okay um we have the knight of swords somebody's upset okay somebody's upset that some of y'all is just moving by five on line Somebody is upset. We ha and they're coming in. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. You know? But and you also got Leo, Sag, and Aries on the table. Okay? Um, the Queen of Wands. This is you. You're being very ambitious. You're being very aggressive in your things. You're going for the things that you want. You know what I'm saying? With the Queen of Wands being in here. And see, like, the Three of Swords. Okay, so some of you guys are still kind of holding on, like I said, in your pre-shuffle. Some of you guys are still holding on to this heartbreak. And you're going to let it go. You're going to let it go, okay? And it could be that some of you guys... Hmm. I think this is past, this Three of Swords. I think this is past feelings. You guys still got that, you know, in your head that, you know, you're going to be hurt again, you know. So, let's see what else. Of course, I will clarify it, okay. What else we have in the first four? We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. See, you guys are letting this shit go. You're letting heartbreak go. Yeah, it's in the reverse. You're letting it go. But some of you guys, like I said, could still be holding on to something, okay? The heartbreak. You have the artist card. The artist card. And um, this artist card, it represents um, a visionary in interpreter, creation, and passion. So you guys are, you know, this is... This is, like I said, getting getting that passion back. You guys are getting this passion back. You're being very creative at something, too. You're being very creative at something. What else we got for Leo? And then we'll clarify these cards we have, guys. We have the Six of Swords moving on. Moving on. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. See? Somebody's rushing in towards you guys. This could also be you, Leo Sag Aries. But somebody's rushing in towards you passionately, okay? And pretty much this person is unstable. You're going to know who this person is because, like I told you, you're seeing everything clearly. You're going to already know what it is, okay? So don't even worry about that. But they're rushing in. This person is angry. 
But at the same time, this person wants to get close to you too. This person wants to get close to you. Remember, okay, remember the heartbreak that this person did because this is somebody in your past that's rushing in because you did get to simply love. This is thinking about your past or your past is thinking about you. This person is coming back. But the good part about it is your eyes are wide open and you're going to already know what it is you need to do, Leo. So it is what it is. You're starting new things. The Ace of Wands is being clarified by the High Priestess. Look, your intuition is high. Your intuition is very high. And this person is rushing in towards you is wanting a new passionate beginning. Okay, Leo, this could be you doing this to somebody or this could be somebody in your past, okay? So you're rushing in wanting a new beginning, but is it real? I don't, I'm not seeing it's real with somebody in your past, okay? Why is the High Priestess here? The High Priestess is being clarified by the Five of Cups. This is regret. Maybe some of you guys did give somebody a new beginning and now you're regretting it, okay? But don't regret letting this, this other person come in, you know? Don't, don't, hey, keep your eyes open. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Could be dealing with a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius. Yeah, we got air on here big time, guys. Air is big time. Okay, this person is rushing in. This Gemini Libra and Aquarius, this person was a burden. I mean, this person had you very um, burdened, okay? Who is the Queen of Wands? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? You got clarity. Ace of Swords again. You got, yeah, like three Aces of Swords here. You've gotten so much clarity on this situation. You already know what it is. Okay, what do we have fly? The Four of Swords. It's time to rest now. It's time to rest, meditate, pray. Because you got somebody sneaky coming in with the Seven of Swords in the in the um, bottom of the deck. This person is very sneaky, okay? A liar, a cheater, a thief, you know, very manipulative. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here for Leo? Why is the Three of Swords here for Leo? Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? We have... The Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's going to get karma. Somebody's going to get some karma here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? You got big, you guys got a lot of changes coming in. Okay, somebody's going to be communicating. Whoever, per, whoever, whoever this person is that hurt you, this person is definitely going to be communicating with you. Okay, very quickly here. They're rushing in already. I already told you that. They're rushing in. But you're going to let this shit go. We got, we got the Queen of Wands again. You're very, you're, you're very aggressive, okay? You're going to move forward away from whoever is trying to come in and throw you off of your game, okay? Somebody wants to interrupt your, um, your high vibrations at this time. They want to bring you low, to that low vibe again, okay, Leo? The Ten of Swords in the reverse. Why is the Ten of Swords in the reverse? Why is the Ten of Swords in the reverse? Mm. Why is the Ten of Swords in the reverse? Why is the Ten of Swords in the reverse? Okay. We have, yeah, I've got the Empress again. Y'all know y'all worth. Y'all know what it is. Okay, so this Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius is coming in. They're going to... They're going to claim they do want to speak some truth to you. They're going to possibly tell you that they are in love with you, okay? You guys got new love coming in here too, okay? You possibly are, are have already met someone. Yeah, you get, you're, you're at a crossroads right here. You, some of you guys are possibly listening to this person, but y'all need to stay focused and continue to move forward, okay? Move forward, this person is still in this Knight of Wands energy, okay? This person is very sneaky, manipulative. They only got one thing on their mind, and they're not stable. This person is not stable, okay? So, what is the advice here for Leo? Let's get some advice for Leo, guys. What's the advice? What is the advice for Leo? End it. 
whenever this person come in, just in the situation. It's time to move on. It is time to move on the world card in this cycle. Let this cycle go and move on because you got better and beautiful more things moving towards, you know, moving forward. That's where your happiness is coming at. Whatever you, not in your past. Your happiness is not your past. It's not. It's your future. Okay, whoever comes in new. Leo, if this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.